Hello students, this is a video dealing with explanation of types of beams. So starting with the type of beams, uh, we will start with the first uh, simple type that is a simple supported beam. Say here a beam is present, let us say it is named as A and B. So if it is having on either side the simple support because of which you will be having a reaction RA and RB that is not uh, nothing but as simply supported beam where I'll take L as the length of the beam so this is the beam where uh, it is simply supported on either the side so this is called as simple support see here there is no a uh, lot of explanation if it is a simply supported beam the name itself says beam which is simply supported on either the side and it will not change uh, much in the diagram even though uh, it can be represented in this manner why because this triangle is also a representation of simple beam simple supported B. so this can be represented like this also so here also beam a b is supported by simple support so representation may change in the supports but the final free body diagram will be same for a simple supported beam here uh, the example for this one i can just uh, say that beam let us say this is a beam simply supported onto the wall simply supported onto the so this will be the example for simply supported beam continuous beam say bridge is a very good example for continuous beam let let us say this is a slab of bridge so where it is strongly supported on the corners which we call it the structure we call it as uh, abutment and since the slab of the bridge is very much large it will be supported simply because of the piers this we call it that is columns which is supported in between we call it as piers in the bridge so this may be any type of support but this should be a simple support always so i can say that here fixed support and simple support there where this is the entire beam of entire beam is this one AB is very large so since at C and D is simply supported to avoid the sagging here so that is called as continuous support at the end it is supported since because of the entire slab is of uh, heavy length so it in the between there will be simple supported continuous it may be uh, any one simple support or two simple support or n number of simple support depending on this entire length so a very good example is a bridge next cantilever beam see here the representation is uh, simple and specific there is a beam where one side is having no support uh, or else you can say it is a free support another side it is fixed support so here also a beam one side is fixed another side free so there is no, only two representation either one of the sides should be free and or fixed correct if this is fixed this is free this is free this is fixed so the representation is done like this once you have a beam so same beam i am writing a and b see here there is no uh, support so there is no reaction at all here there is a fixed support there will be three reaction as per the fixed support so i'll name it as mb rby rbx so three reactions will be there so this is called as cantilever beam one side it is fixed to something and it is free another side you can say that chedja canopy of the windows above window a sunshade will be given right in windows sunshade will be given that portion is fixed to your uh, building one side and it is free to the air in another side that is a good example sunshade canopy uh, this uh, chedja everything is a good example for cantilever beam 
this is another beam type of beam propped cantilever see here it is a cantilever where the free end is not present instead of that there will be simple support or a roller support simple reaction will be there say if i reduce the roller support again there will be simple reaction here there will be reaction so either i can represent like this or like this it is one in the same so once uh, it is a cantilever beam one said where it uh, in cantilever beam where it was free and that end is not now free it is supported you can say the front canopy of your college where or uh, car porches of your house where see there is a large beam type of portion which is connected to the building and since this length is large it has to be supported by columns so that is nothing but example for propped cantilever portion i can't say it is a beam but i can say it as a portion which next overhanged beam here a portion will be overhanged there will be one support after that it will be in air that portion is called as overhanged wherein beam is complete from a to b this is beam but in middle there will be one some some support which may be simple reaction or roller support simple reaction or roller support okay so after that this portion of beam of ab that is bc portion is overhanged wherein it is overhanged by some weight see these are the simple types which you need to see in uh, types of beams there are other types also as you see the textbook but for the time being as per the syllabus if you study this many you can uh, deal with the problem